everybody's trying to make some of this dough. Everybody, this is what everybody wants in Forex. Everybody wants all of this. Everybody wants to be speaking to Benjamin like, hi, Benjamin, how are you going, right? So guys, today I want to discuss with you guys how you can go about making all of this. But the problem is a lot of you guys have small trading counts. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys five actionable steps, five steps to going about building that or rather growing your small trading account into something huge. How can we use one of this? Because I know some of you, most of you guys have either one or two or three or four or five or six or ten. You want to take this and make all of this, right? So this is exactly what I'm going to be talking about. But before we jump into the video, let's say hi to Benjamin real quickly. See this guy right here. This guy, my best friend, <laughs> he never lets me down, you know, he never lets me down. I say, hi, hi Benjamin, he says, hi Dabs, how are you doing? You're all right, yeah, I'm doing all right. So, anyways, guys, so <laughs> let's jump into the video. Don't the, the, don't mind me, I'm just fooling around, guys. So you guys know me, I'm Dapo Olis. I like to give you guys the most realistic approach to growing your trading account, not of the, all this fluff you guys keep seeing on the internet um, and stuff like that. The most realistic approach to growing your trading account. Now, guys, if you're interested in finding out the most realistic way to grow that little money into this i suggest you stick around to the very end of this video now guys let us go yes i'm back again guys so step number one let's let, let's dive right into this because I, I ain't got time man you know money waits for nobody money waits with benjamin waits for nobody see this guy is very impatient this guy waits for nobody so let's let's kick this off what, what, what is the you know, what's the first step to going about growing that small trading account? Sorry, apologies, ap apologies if, if I keep looking down. The, the reason I keep looking down is I've decided to, I had to take down some notes um, before I did this video because I did not want to miss out on anything. Okay, I want to educate you guys as much as possible. I want to share as much value with you guys as much as possible. I used to do this before in the past. I used to flip accounts. I used to take two, three hundred dollars to five, ten k back in the day. I don't really do that. I don't really do that these days because obviously I have a lot of money at my disposal. I have a lot of investors that have invested with me, so I don't need to flip accounts. But for most of you guys who are watching this, I know you don't really have that much money. If you have a hundred dollars, some of you have five hundred, one k, two k. It's not really a lot of money. You want to know? You you want to you want to take things to the next level as quickly as possible, and I completely get it now what is the very first step so step number one okay we have five steps to to, to, to grow in that small trading account step number one is you want to first of all identify how much money do we even have this is step number one so you need to identify how much money am i working with how much money do i have at my disposal now for most of you guys you have between 100 to 500 dollars at your disposal for those of you guys who are a bit more buoyant um you have about 1k 2k so for the sake of this example i'm just going to take 200 dollars out of this so this we got about ten thousand dollars here right so um it's just gonna take two out of this right about here so for the sake of this example we have 200 dollars, right so the very first thing you want to go ahead and do is establish how much money you have now once we've been able to establish how much money you have we now want to identify where exactly is our end goal this is very crucial because in the process of flipping and you know trying to grow a small trading account we tend to get carried away how do i know this it used to happen to me a lot in the past i'll be trading i got 200 dollars 500 dollars and i'm flipping 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 and i get to be, because i do not know my end point i just keep trading and then eventually i blow all of it back even down to the 200 dollars. this was many years ago so the very first thing you want to ask yourself is this is step number one and which is the most crucial step is how much money do i have and at what where do i want to take this money to so for the sake of this example let us say we want to take two hundred dollars to ten thousand dollars as we have here now once you're able to identify the end goal and guys please once you get to your end goal you have to click the redraw button but i'll get to that in a bit so two hundred dollars is our game plan this is exactly how much we're trading with right so the next thing you need to ask yourself is okay I've got $200, right? You know, how much do I want to risk? You have to understand that because of the fact that you want to hit a, a very, very huge 
go as in the shortest time possible you're gonna be risking something quite significant so hold on guys yes i'm back again guys sorry about that uh, i was i was choking a little bit so for the fact that you know you have a small trading account you're definitely going to be risking a lot of money now i usually advise that at this point you risk between 15 to 20 percent okay so for what have we been able to identify in step one how much money do we have secondly at what point do we want to get out do we want to cash out because this is really important and we've been able to identify what our risk so our risk per trade will be between 15 to what 20 percent step number two and this is the second thing you need to ask yourself and you need to be able to identify so we've been able to identify that we got 200 dollars and it's 200 bucks and if we're going to be risking 20 dollars per trade this simply means that we have five lives this is so important we have five lives we, we only have five like we can only mess up five times if not we're gone okay so this is very crucial because once you put yourself in this mindset you're geared for like you know i'm, I'm only going to be you know filtering out for the best trades i only want to take the best trades and for the fact that you have five lives this is usually my advice and this is usually what i like to do once i get into that mode of survival like i only have five lives i usually like to have what they call a circuit breaker so what does this mean in the event that whilst you're trading this little account up to the ten thousand dollars and maybe your first trade is a loser your second trade is a loser by the third trade you should stop trading for at least 30 days this is known as a circuit breaker now the problem a lot of people face is they just want to just keep clicking and once they start losing money they want to make all the money back don't forget we're trying to be smart about this we want to make this guy we want to turn this to this so we have to protect this guy with everything we've got so in the event that you start trading off now this is worst case scenario i always like to speak from the worst case scenario first before i work my way into the best case scenario so that because we all know how forex is guys come on forex is one of the most challenging industries to trading let's not sit here and act like you know everything is all you know rosy and calm and cool where i know that most people are losing money so worst case scenario is if you start trading your small trading account and you encounter losses at the third trade which is which means you're now down 60 percent stop trading for at least 30 days okay are we clear on that are we good on that i think we're good just making sure that this is recording all right guys so that's absolutely recording anyway so at the end of you know three losing trades you have to stop and wait for 30 days now in the event that you kick off your trading which i know by the time i'm done with this video you will not have to be that guy who has to stop trading after three trades because i'm going to be showing you guys the most realistic approach to you know ensuring that your trades are winners yes i'll be giving you guys a strategy or rather a way to find a strategy to ensure that you are able to what turn your little money into a lot but worst case scenario i just gave you guys you know if you if you hit that loss two or three times you know just relax for about 30 days right However, on the flip side, if things are all going according to plan, just keep smashing it. Like I said, I know you guys are going to be smashing it because I'm going to be sharing with you guys the most realistic approach to what flipping your account, the best strategy, the best technical approach, and all of that jazz. All right, guys, so let's jump into step three. So what is the third step that you need to obviously accomplish in order for you to be able to flip this $200 into this $10,000 we're talking about? So don't forget in step one, we spoke about, sorry, just making sure this is recording. I don't know. The last thing any content creator wants to do or have happen to them is be talking and yanning and chabri and then at the end of the video, shit they record right so this is why i keep checking in pardon me if it looks a bit unprofessional but hey it is what it is right so back to what i was saying so step three before i get into step three let's quickly recap what we spoke about step one identifying the capital and step two identifying the risk like we said 200 dollars is our capital we want to exit at ten thousand dollars step two which is our risk management 20 percent risk per trade and worst case scenario is we can obviously lose three trades out of that and we have to stop trading for 30 days best case scenario is we keep making winning trades and we just go all the way up from there now guys step three simply is skill set you will need a certain level of skill set to pull this off forget about every other thing that goes with this 
Your technical analysis needs to be spot on. If not, you can kiss this whole flipping account, this entire operation goodbye. Okay. Now, the reason I say this is you can have the best risk management. You can have the best. Your psychology can be from a psychologist and you still won't make any headway if you don't have the best technical approach. Right. So what do I advise in this point? What do I, you know, I encourage you guys to do? Now, I always speak about, you know, the top down analysis. I always speak about, you know, how you should go on higher time frames and scale down to lower time frames. But let me quickly give you guys a recap as to the best approach to taking your small money into $10,000, $200, $10,000. What you need to do is understand a concept called the top down analysis. Okay, so what does this mean? So your top, the top down analysis is basically when you go on higher time frames, identify thousands of pips into the future, scale down to lower time frames, and trade in that direction with your little capital. Okay, now why do I encourage you guys to do this? First of all, I've been doing it for many years, and it works, as you can tell. Secondly. You're, tr you're, 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 you're more likely to make more profitable trades. You're more likely to be correct. Why? Because the higher time frame paints the picture for the lower time frame. So whatever happens on the higher time frame is what the lower time frame now does. i give you an example. Um, as of the time of, of recording this video, GBPUSD is heading south on a higher time frame. You will notice that the lower time frame will simply just, you might see it retrace a bit, but overall the market will head in that direction. So guys, I advise you guys to study and learn what they call the top-down analysis. It is the absolute best. For those of you guys who are wondering how you can go about learning the top-down analysis, the link is going to be down below. It's called the Forex Mastery Program. I put it together myself. I feel like it's one of the best, if not the best, approach to the market. You can use it for any market, Forex, indices, cryptocurrency. It is absolutely freaking amazing and it's just 99 bucks. Imagine. So do yourself a favor. Click the link around here. Scroll in. My team always puts it around here or in the description. Grab it. Digest it. Guys, I, will, I cannot stress this enough. You need to digest it from module one till module end. Literally, I take you, I walk you through the beginning process of drawing your trend lines properly. I tell you what. Something as little as drawing trend lines, traders get it wrong. You might think like, oh, it's just trend lines. A trend line can literally be the difference between flipping that account and blowing that account. A trend line, if not drawn properly, can be the difference between getting into a trade prematurely or staying out of the trade, how to draw your support and resistance properly, how to draw the zones properly. And then the, the course now takes you all the way down into some more advanced techniques, how to use Fibonacci, the most, the most realistic Fibonacci levels and stuff like that. Okay, I speak about my entry and exit strategy, how most importantly, to identify thousands of pips into the future because at the end of the day, the last thing you want to be doing with your little account is be getting in and out of trades. Because statistically, the more you get in and out of trades, the, the, the higher the chances of you blowing that account. So what the top-down analysis will do for you and the Forex Mastery course will actually do for you is it will teach you how to identify the most, the highest probability trades, how to get into the highest probability trades and how to hold those trades so that you can juice out, juice out everything, man. Okay, how to juice out everything. This way, you just watch your two hundred dollars grow. So you got two. You wake up. You have three. You wake up. You have four. You wake up. You have five. You wake up. You have six. Like literally, I don't even touch my charts. I just click the button once, and then because I've been able to identify thousands of pips into the future, all I do is I just lock in my profit as the market goes in my direction. So guys, that's it for step three. Once again, um, the top down analysis. Like I'm not even going to. Start Start telling you oh do that like it get the top-down analysis into your brain and another thing for the forex mastery students who are watching this my entry strategy also works for lower time frames as well the ideology the methodology also works for lower just simply scale down to lower time frames and trade as much as you want but our advice that when you get into the trade because of the fact that we've been able to identify thousands of pips into the future just allow your lower time frame trades roll over into the higher time frame higher time frame movement this way you can risk as little as 30 to 40 
40 pips to make over you know 700 to one yes 30 pips yes you can risk 30 to 50 pips to make 700 pips it's absolutely mad if you think i'm joking click down click the link down below grab the program and you'll see it for yourself now guys step number four now this is where things start to get really interesting i've literally written down um some stuff here so don't pardon me if you see me reading here now by the time you're, you're done taking the forex mastery program you will be able to understand what it means to trade in the direction of the trend now it's very important for you to trade it in the direction of the trend because you tend to face what they call less resistance right with you it's just like the just like an ocean right if the ocean is flowing from if the ocean is flowing from north to south the last thing you want to do is sorry guys i'm expecting a delivery the last <laughs> I'm expecting a delivery something nice i bought myself something nice because i have been smashing the market recently guys let me just brag a little bit let me just brag a little bit now guys i predicted oil prices from 64 dollars a barrel to 110 oil with the top-down analysis okay i predicted the surge in gold prices from the top-down analysis i predicted the collapse of bitcoin bitcoin as at the time you're watching this video probably about maybe I actually called Bitcoin short all the way from 42k. Bitcoin is going to come down to about 30, 30, 39, 5, 38k. Yes, at the time you're watching this video, Bitcoin is at 40k. It's so simple and easy once you know how to do it properly, right? So we've been making a lot of money in the market. So I said to myself, let me go ahead and order something nice. Maybe in my next video, I'll show you guys what I ordered. I'm really excited about it. And I'm just waiting for the delivery to come very soon. So yeah, they're telling me, they just asked me for my address. I'm waiting for it. Something very nice, right? So anyways, back to what I was saying. The river is flowing south. The higher time frame has told you the river is flowing south. All you need to do is identify what direction is the forex market going. Once you've been able to identify it, then you can scale down to whatever time frame. I usually advise four hours for entry. If you if you're feeling a bit too, you can scale down to lower uh, one hour time frame and trade in the direction of the overall flow, overall time frame, whatever it is you want to call it. Right. So, guys, don't forget. We only have this. We want to take the most. We want to take the highest probability trades ever. We cannot play around. We only have five lives. So another thing is, if for any reason that you're doing your analysis and you cannot find, you cannot find any um, trends at the moment. I advise you stay away. You only have what five lives. In this guy, you only have five lives. Stay away and wait. Be patient, okay? And keep doing that analysis until the market presents itself with tradable opportunities, okay? Tradable opportunities. And trust me, with the top-down analysis approach, guys, you will find those amazing trade. Guys, listen, since December, we have been smashing the game. The opportunities have been coming left. I don't think we've had any losing trades since December. Can you imagine? I'm recording this video in April. It's huge, okay? And I'm really, really excited about this. So that's for step number one, subcategory one. Sorry, step number four, subcategory number one is trade in the direction of the trend, which the Forex Mastery will teach you how to do, which obviously the link is in, down in the description. The second thing that I want to, teach, to talk to you guys about on the step four, so step step four is, the, you know, it's, it's titled trading the market itself. So every other thing was risk management, do this, identify, this one we're talking Talking about trading the market itself ensure it's trending the second thing is please don't buy or sell in resistance levels do not do that the market will destroy you anyways by the time you take the program you will understand but let me just explain to you guys wait for that bounce don't trade at levels wait for always trade from an area of value Okay, always what trade from an area of value. An area of value is simply something known as, or areas of value are things like um, areas of confluence, where you have trend lines, support and resistance lining up with Fibonacci. Literally, if a trend line, Fibonacci, and a support level come together, it's known as the Willis Zone. Guys, the reason I named it the Willis Zone was I feel like I kind of discovered it. And anytime I noticed, anytime that the trend line, Fibonacci, and the support or resistance line up together and the market comes in and bounces all off of it, best believe I'm getting into that trade. And best believe nine out of 10 times that trade is profitable. Once again, I teach the Willis Zone strategy on the Forex Mastery program, which obviously the link is going to be around here somewhere. But 
The essence of this is always ensure that you're trading from an area of value. An area of value is where two or more technical tools, not indicators, not freaking moving average or Bollinger Bands, those things don't work. Areas of value are where two or more technical tools, Fibonacci, trendline, or support come together and the market comes in and you can visibly see candlestick action like a morning star bullish engulfing bounce off of that area. Wait for the bounce and candle close and there you go. And obviously this has to be in line with the trend. It's not that difficult, guys. It's not that difficult to identify when you know what, when you know how to do it. Okay, so on the step four subcategory three is I know you guys are getting bored of this, but guys, who really gets bored of me? Hi Benjamin. <laughs> guys, I'm freaking silly. <laughs> Hi Benjamin. Oh my god, who gets tired of making money? Anyways, guys, so under step four subcategory three is holding your trades for a longer period of time. Now, this is where I usually blow everybody out of the water because when it comes to holding trades, I'm the OG. Like I would hold for six, seven hundred pips. This way, I can literally grow a small account into something huge in literally two or three trades because once I find those high probability two to three or four trades, I just hold it. Like I literally just hold the trade and then just lock in profits. This way, I'm not always, you know, like going to the charts. And I tell you something, guys, when you're always going to the charts, like I said earlier, uh, somewhere along the line, you start having losses because the market only trends 40% of the time. The remaining 60% of the time, the market is ranging. So if you're fortunate enough, obviously after taking the Forex Mastery program and identifying the trend, that trend will only last 40% of the time. So if you are the type of trader who is always getting in and out, in and out, you will then exhaust your 40% of the trend and then the market goes into a range for 60% of the time. And most traders struggle to trade during ranging times and this is exactly where most of the blown accounts happen. So once the trend starts to occur, once the top-down analysis has told you, hey man, it's a trend in time, you need to take you need to make the most out of it okay you need to take advantage of it and take your 20 percent your 200 dollars get into the trade and hold that damn thing for dear life i also explain something to you guys it is difficult to hold trades i get it because you can be in one thousand dollars profit today tomorrow eight hundred dollars seven hundred dollars up to one four down to seven hundred up to five k three hundred you have to understand that this happens because the market doesn't move in a straight line okay the market moves in waves it oscillates up and down okay so we can be one k profit seven hundred one four seven hundred five k three k that's exactly how it's going to go all the way till ten thousand us dollars so only patient traders like me who are confident in their analysis, who are confident in, that's what I'm saying, this is where the top-down analysis comes into play because coming from a higher time, it's like Google Maps. You know what, where this thing is heading to eventually, right? So this would give you the confidence to hold down those trades. So guys, once again, I think this is the most important aspect of things. When you eventually find those trades that are profitable and are going well for you, don't be in a hurry to close them out. Keep them and milk them and get yourself some Benjamins. So guys, I think that's about it for step four. Um, so I've written down here step five, which I feel is also very important, which I also feel is really important, which is redraws and go buy yourself something nice. That is the fifth step. So once you eventually take your $200 all the way to 10K, go to the mall. I live in Dubai. Like literally every weekend I'm in the mall. I'm always buying myself something nice because at the end of the day, you have to reward yourself. Don't forget to re hit that redraw button. Okay, hit it, take the money out. I don't care how little it is, even if you grow it from $200 to $1,000. If $1,000 was your goal, redraw $500, treat yourself, okay? Because the brain is very interesting, right? Once you reward it for all the hard work, because training this market is fucking hard, mate. It's difficult to train this market every single day. You know, the emotional roller coaster up and down the whole place is crazy. So, guys, once you once you're able to attain that goal and you get that result that you want, guys, click the redraw. As you can see, it's a redraw right here, right? Click the redraw button. I'm gonna after here. I'm heading out to the mall actually. I'm gonna go splash. 
splash on something nice, get yourself something expensive, you know, put money in your bank account, change your shoes, change your environment, and we go again. So I think step five for me is one of the most important aspects. Redraw your money and go get yourself something nice. Now, guys, in order for me to conclude this video and finally let you go, obviously, I spoke about step one, how much do we have? $200, step two, 20% risk. After three, three losing trades, please stay out of the game. If the market goes in your favor, fine, carry on. Step three is your technical skills, your expertise. This will be covered in the Forex Mastery Program. That's for those of you who are sensible and wise enough to get it. Once again, the link is around here somewhere. Once you accomplish step three, which is your technical expertise, you grab the Forex Mastery Program. Most of the stuff I'm sharing here are already included in the program. You will be on your way to success. Step number four is actually trading the market. Rule number one, trade in the direction of the trend once the market is trending allow it pull back into an area of value once the bounce happen get a confirmation from a candlestick close jump into that trade and voila there you go uh, and then we also spoke about holding your trade for a longer period of time once you're able to get those trades that look good that look nice hold on to those trades for dear life and close your laptop and go spend time with your family and step number five when you when you do eventually make all that money from trading don't forget to call dapple willis up and send me some money i'll be waiting for you guys i know you because i know you're going to be successful and i know you're going to make a lot of money and i know you're going to make a lot of benjamins so don't forget to send me some. Once again, that's my time. I'm Dapo Willis. Thank you for staying with me to the very end of this video. I hope that you guys make a lot of money in the Forex market. Do me a little favor, smash the subscribe button and drop me a comment if you found this video helpful. I love you guys very much. It's time to go shopping. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy and peace out.